I mean, it was like a meth lab in this apartment complex? No way. Stan Jonas, an Army veteran living at the Archer Woods Apartments, has never seen anything like this before. There were police cars and vans and setups cleaning this stuff up, guys in masks. It all began yesterday morning after a routine traffic stop. A canine officer noticed a strong odor coming from a vehicle with a cracked windshield. And the dog alerted to the presence of, of narcotics within the vehicle. Uh, the driver was detained and we found a uh, 1.9 grams of methamphetamine as well as a lot of uh, narcotics paraphernalia located inside the vehicle. Detectives arrested 37-year-old Lewis Hendricks and found an active meth lab at Hendricks's house on Northeast Waldo Road, along with children in his home. Two-year-old, a four-year-old, and a toddler, as well as a 15-year-old that was inside the house. Later that day, the Gainesville Alachua County Drug Task Force also uncovered another active meth lab at the Archwoods apartment complex. Now, only one apartment building had to be evacuated last night as a safety precaution, and a resident who lives just a few feet away from that building says he knows how dangerous a meth lab can be, and he's just thankful that nobody was hurt. A blow is going to go straight up and out. You don't know how big it really is, but I know they were in there all night, up to 2 o'clock, cleaning this stuff up. And the sheriff's office says they've been seeing a growing number of meth labs in the area. It's cheap to manufacture. The, uh, the recipes or the directions to manufacture methamphetamine um, are readily available online. Uh, and the high that people get from it is, uh, is described to be very intense as opposed to other street drugs like, uh, like marijuana, so to speak. Reporting in Gainesville, Alicia Tarancon, GTN News.